Welcome back everybody to the Crypto Ellis channel. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a huge trust swap update because they've been bringing out a load of products and they've also got their biggest ever project getting launched on their launch pad very, very soon with their sales. So you definitely do not want to miss out on that. And I'm also today going to be talking about the price of trust swap, why it has gone down as quickly as it has and why has it gone down as low as it has. Because I know a lot of people in the comment section have been asking for me to cover this and have a bit of an explanation on why trustworth price has gone down so low so before we go any further don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're always notified every time i upload to the channel i'm not financial advisor so please always do your own research and i'm not paid partnered or affiliated with any of the cryptocurrencies mentioned in today's video and if you didn't know i've got a telegram group which i will leave the link to down below in the video description if you do want to join that the market cap is 357 billion dollars today we've got a lot to talk about so let's get straight into the trust swap updates the first one is this one right here and this is absolutely huge the smart swap service on the trust swap platform has now gone fully live they said they were going to do it and they've now finally done it so some of the utilities are non-custodial otcs desk integrations for exchanges servicing vcs and institutional deal flow into crypto the one send ethereum i send 10 back scam is now gone p2p swaps and much much more this one right here is absolutely huge because it is a big scam in the cryptocurrency space and we saw it happen over on twitter as well with the big twitter accounts getting hacked and then people asking them to send them ethereum and then they send them more ethereum back so the scam basically is exactly what it says someone will come up to you and say hey i'm going to send you 10 ethereum if you send me one ethereum but this scam is now completely dead because or it will be dead because you could technically go over to them now and say hey okay i want to do that deal because i want 10 ethereum for sending you one ethereum let's go and do it on the smart swap service over on trust swaps platform and then they're obviously going to say no because obviously it is a scam now let's go over to the october 13th trust swap update so the first one is this right here this is the pre-sale that i was talking to you about which i believe is going to be one of their biggest ever projects on the trust swap launch pad the reason i say that is the team behind this project has worked for some of the biggest companies in the world including Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Google, IBM, HSBC, Bank of England, and many other big companies. So this is going to be a huge project in my personal opinion. And also the NFT ticket system will not be fully ready for when this pre-sale does happen, but they will be implementing a hybrid dash class NFT ticket system where 25 guaranteed entries will be issued. These tickets will allow for a total of $10,000 allocation into the sale, but these tickets will also be transferable and resellable on the open market. So if you get one of these tickets and you don't want to go into this sale, you can actually then go and sell this token on, sorry, this ticket over on the actual market, the open market and get money for it if you do not want to go into the sale. And then if we go all the way down here as well, so between the 20th and the 24th of this month, that is when the sale is expected to go live. And if you are actually a designer, you can actually get involved in a design contest where you design the NFT look and you can win up to 400 swap tokens. Number two is the staking updates. So the staking updates are coming in the following days, allowing users to both add to stake and add to withdraw only the staking rewards. In addition, the 333,000 swap staking bonus has already gone out and they've also got more staking bonus that is going to get announced very soon. This is good because a lot of people have been asking for staking improvements and now Trustwap has gone and done that. PR is number three, so they're getting their name more out there. Number four is the escrow integration. So they're actually in communication to integrate our escrow service with a client that does millions of dollars of volume on a weekly basis. Also, they're working on a white label solution so any escrow service can add their logo on top and simply add it to their existing website. Web flow. So this is good because this is going to get more people using the TrustWap platform once they see a couple of companies that already do millions of dollars of dollars of volume on a weekly basis they'll be saying oh why don't we go over to trust swap why don't we go and start using trust swap also this is good that they're working on this white label because then these other integrations can happen as easily as possible and these other escrow services can use this platform as easily as possible as well and then number five is a huge one so they're currently working on building a mobile application that will land them in integration with a non-crypto company with a markup of over 300 billion dollars this is fantastic because it's a non-crypto company and it has a markup of 300 billion dollars so once again more big companies are going to be using trust swap 
as you can see right here and more big companies are going to be integrating with TrustSwap going forward into the future fantastic updates from TrustSwap but now let's go and talk about the price so the price is currently at 26 cents almost 27 cents 24 hour trading volume is 1.3 million circulating supply and maximum supply hasn't really changed since last time I made a video on TrustSwap markup is 17.3 million and the rank right now over on CoinGecko is 290th on CoinGecko so there's a lot of reasons why the price of TrustSwap has gone down as much as it has. But when I've been making my videos on TrustSwap, I truly believed with everything that TrustSwap had coming out and the integrations that they had coming up and the partnerships and all of that good stuff and the main net coming out as well, I truly believed that this cryptocurrency was going to continue to go higher and go past the $2 mark, past the $3 mark. But as you can see right now, it has not done that. And there is a few reasons for this. Reason number one is probably because TrustSwap went from half a cent to over $1.60 very, very quickly. And when that happens, you should definitely expect a massive pullback. When that did happen, I said we were going to get a pullback, but I thought the pullback would probably go down to 90 cents, 80 cents, maybe 60 or 70 cents. I didn't think personally it would go down as low as it did right here. Also, reason number two is the Chain Games sale. So the Chain Games sale was the first ever sale on the Launchpad projects for TrustSwap. And when that happened, there were a few hiccups with the sale. And the first impression is the biggest impression you can ever make. Whether with it's a client, whether it's with a new viewer that is watching this video right now, whether it's with people getting into your sales, the first impression is the key impression to make. And I personally know a lot of people that have sold their TrustSwap tokens since that pre-sale. So once that pre-sale happened, people got fed up or people didn't like how that pre-sale was run and people actually sold their tokens then and that personally guys is actually when I started to see TrustSwap slowly going down and a lot of you viewers probably saw it as well and a lot of people in the TrustSwap um, community saw TrustSwap slowly going down as well but when TrustSwap was slowly going down it kept making a comeback so it was going down made a comeback going down made a comeback so I thought it was going to make a comeback and maybe go back over the one dollar mark go back towards the one dollar fifty mark and back to the all-time high mark but obviously it did not do that another reason why it went down as quickly as it did was this right here so even though hatch dao did not actually launch on the trust launch pad i know a couple of videos i know my last video on trust i said that it did launch on the trust launch pad i made a mistake in that video it did not fully launch on the trust launch pad it did however use the trust swaps fully audited smart lock technology so this is what hatch dao used but the reason hatch dao did actually make a rug pull was because they pulled the liquidity so they went over to uniswap and pulled the liquidity so that is how they did the rug pull as you can see right here by the article hatch dao scammers pull liquidity as DeFi faces another setback so obviously when this happened as well people were thinking that trust swap was going to be made redundant people were thinking oh if trust swap can't do what they say they were going to do and actually stop rug pulls then why should we be holding the trust swap token and why should i even be investing or know about trust swap and give trust swap my time but as we figured out trust swap was not the cause of this rug pull and trust swap even pointed out over on twitter saying that there was a load of other ways that people can make rug pulls and trust swap are trying to fix as many of these ways that people can do rug pulls as quickly as they can and they've already fixed this one right now as we saw as well with the updates that trust swap is bringing out they are fixing these different things and then there's other reasons as well why the price may have gone down. This might be one of the reasons right here. Even though they're on Uniswap and quite a few big exchanges, they did keep telling us that they were going to be getting on other big exchanges like Binance. They did say in their Telegram quite a few times saying that, yes, if the community wants us to get on Binance, we will get on Binance. And in the couple of the first couple of months or the first month of TrustSwap actually going live and after the pre-sale happened, they said to the community, we are actually going to be working on getting on the big platforms like Binance, like Qcon Exchange. And as you can see right here, that has not happened as of yet because Jeff is concentrating on trying to be as decentralized as possible and staying on Uniswap is probably the best way to go with that because Uniswap is as decentralized as it gets and it is better than all of these other platforms. But obviously there's a load of problems with Uniswap so people don't like having their tokens over on Uniswap. 
So there's quite a few reasons, guys, why TrustSwap has gone down since the $1.62 high. But the main reason, in my personal opinion, guys, is because of the hype dying down. I'll just be completely honest with you guys. The hype died down a bit with Tresswap. Tresswap was the next big thing. Tresswap was being very exciting. It went from half a cent all the way to $1.62. So it was like everyone was going crazy. This is going to go even higher. Everyone was going crazy. And then obviously it did have the fall that it did have. Obviously there was a few problems on the way down as well. But all these problems that Tresswap have had, guys, they fixed it. They fixed it really quickly. They've continued to bring out integrations. They've continued to bring out partnerships, guys. They continue to strive every single week and make their Tresswap platform, make their Tresswap project the next thing that is going to save the cryptocurrency world they're gonna they've been making it better so that people don't do rug pulls they've been making better for the token holders so there's more benefits they've been doing a lot of big things guys the price shouldn't be where it is right now but it is the cryptocurrency market guys this is what happens in the cryptocurrency space the cryptocurrency goes up it goes down and it stabilizes at a certain price and then when other big news comes out it'll go up if bad news comes out it'll go down guys it's the cryptocurrency market like i said i truly believe that it was going to go even higher two dollars three dollars maybe four dollars i do apologize guys if any of you guys got into this cryptocurrency at a higher time maybe when it was at one dollar maybe it was when it was at one dollar twenty from watching my video guys i do sincerely apologize but as you guys know i do not control the market trust swap does not control the market chain games if you've invested in chain games they do not control the market they can't suddenly make their cryptocurrency go up so i do 100 apologize guys if you did get in on trust swap I still 100% believe in TrustSwap, believe in Chain Games. I still hold tokens from these two projects. And I believe these two projects are doing something in the cryptocurrency space that other projects are doing, but they're not doing it on the level that TrustSwap are doing. They're not doing it on the level that TrustSwap have advanced with their platform. And TrustSwap have brought out all the things that they say they were going to bring out. And also TrustSwap is continuing to get more integrations, more partnerships. They're planning on getting listed on more exchanges going forward forward into the future so it's still doing everything they say they are going to do but i believe the hype has died down a bit so not as many people potentially are buying into trust swap not as many people are potentially staking their trust swap tokens not as many people potentially are holding the trust swap tokens in their wallets so there's a few reasons why trust swap has gone down but like i said i completely 100 fully back trust swap and the chain games project as well so i know a lot of you've been asking similar questions for the chain games price i still back them guys i still hold them i still believe in the project going forward let me know guys what you think about trust swap and all the other projects that trust swap have been integrated with what you think about the projects that trust swap have had on the launch pad let me know guys down below in the comment section thanks so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video see you then bye